All right, so today we're gonna make an adult size ear warmer. This is about four and a half inches this way and 19 inches around. So I used a double yarn in here, so I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I have two strands of yarn. You'll just act like it's one strand. So you have a, about a finger's length worth of, a tail. So what you're gonna do is wrap it around your finger and you're gonna hold this little loop where you have it. And then you go from in here and you just take it from the back and push it forward. So act like it's one strand of yarn. So you just pull it forward and yank it and that's called a slip knot. So you can just slip it right back out. So again, you just wrap it around your finger, hold that, push it right up and you have a slip knot. So, you're gonna take your, your hook, and this is a N hook, a nine millimeter. That's, that's the brand there. Um, you just put your hook in, slide it a little bit to make it a little tight, and you're gonna do 13 chain stitches here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. And now we're gonna do double crochets. And so we're gonna start from, we're gonna go to this, we're gonna skip one, two, and go to this loop here. So we're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook, slip it right in there, grab it out. Now you're going to have three loops on your hook. Pull it through the first two. Now you have two on your hook. Pull it through those two. So that's a double crochet. Alright, so now we're going to do that again. Wrap your yarn around your hook. Go into this, the next loop here. Pull it up. You have three on your hook. Pull it through two. Now you have two on your hook. Pull it through both of those. Wrap your yarn around. Push it through the next loop. Pull up. Go through two. Go through two. You wrap your yarn. See this little one here? You don't go through that one. That's your loop that you just went through before. So you can pull up on it and you can tell that you just made a double crochet into that loop so you don't go through that one that you can see stretched out. You go through the one beside it. You wrap your crochet hook around through the hole. Got three on your hook on your hook. One on your hook. Wrap it. Pull through. Three on your hook. Two on your hook. One on your hook. Wrap it. And you go. You should have This is for an adult size head. For a kid's head, you're gonna probably do about 10 across. All right, so this is how wide it's gonna be the whole time. So we have one, we'll just count them real quick. One double crochet, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 across. So 12 across here will be this wide whenever we're done with it. Alright, so now we're going to go up a row. So basically you have one on your hook now and you're at the end of the row so you can't just double, you can't cro double crochet anymore here. So that's the end of your row. Now you're going to go one, two, turn your work, wrap it around and now you have something to go into. So <clears throat> now you're going to keep going all the way up until you have it the desired length of your head or um, whenever you measure someone's head you're going to um, make it a little bit tighter than their head length just because um, you don't want it too loose where it's going to fall off so um, always make it just a little bit tighter probably like oh, um, about an inch tighter so if their head's 20 centimeters, I mean 20 inches, make it 19 inches. And um, <clears throat> and then I'll show you in a little bit, when I'm done with these rows, I'll do one more um, going up just so you can see. So right now, if you're ever not sure, if you're looking at your work right now and you're like, hmm, do I have to make another double crochet in this loop or do I have enough? All you have to do is remember that you had 12 on your first row and you go and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, So you know that even though this kind of looks like it was right, you're not sure, go ahead and go, oh, well I need 12. so. You're going to go ahead and make the 12th one in there. So now that looks more complete. So you always want 12 across that way. You can make 11 across, 10 across, however many you want to make the width here. So if you're using one strand of yarn, you're going to need to use more across. So you have one, two, up. Turn your work, wrap your yarn, and you don't go into the one that's sideways like that. You just go into the one. Here. All right, so now we're working on our third row. And you just go all the way across and keep going up and up and up until you have it your desired length. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll come back in just a minute. So right now I'm about halfway done, a little more than halfway. Anyway, that's what it looks like so far. So I'm going to just show you a couple more rows like this. So I just do two more, turn my work. Three, two, one. Wrap it, push it through. Three, two. Wrap it, push it through, three on the loop, two, one. Wrap it, push it, pull, three, two, one. Wrap it, push it, pull it, three, two, one. Wrap it, push it, pull it, three, two, one. And you will always want to keep your string a little tight on the needle like this. If you have it like this, you're going to make some crazy, see how much extra it looks up there. So you want to make it look a little neater and have it right there on your needle. So push it, pull it, three, two, one. Wrap it, push it, pull it.
Now we'll count our row just to make sure because you don't want to start making it go inwards because <laughs> like a pyramid it's you can do that if you you know if you want it to go like that but I don't recommend it just a nice little rectangle is good so we'll go up here and do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we have twelve again you have one on your loop you can't go and do any more here so now we're just gonna do two one to turn the work, wrap it, push it, pull it, three on your loop, two on your loop, one, one, three, two, one. So when you wrap it, your needle goes in front. So now I'll come back whenever I'm finished making the rows. Okay, so I finished my last row. Um, I just measured my head. It's a whole 22 inches around. Um, and that's like from my forehead, this on top of my ears, and down to the back of my neck. And that's where the, the ear warmer is going to go. Um, this is the ear warmer. It's really long. Um, but just to show you, um, this is my head length and that is the ear warmer length. So, the ear warmer length is 19 inches and the measuring tape is 22. So, as you can see, what you can do is have that length and this length and all you have to do is pull it and if it'll measure the same length and then you're good cool it'll fit on someone's head so it'll stretch and it'll hold onto their head and it won't fall off and nobody will be mad all right so i have my loop here put it back on the hook and all you have to do is make one loop and cut it pretty long string here all right so you cut a long string and you have one loop on your hook and all you got to do is pull it all the way through and pull it tight there you go now you have the long rectangle and a side with a long piece of string and a side with a short piece of string. Alright, so now if you have a sewing needle, it is the time to use it. If you just have a hook and then you will wrap the um, yarn in and out. So you put two sides together. You can put it either way. It doesn't matter. So. You have the long string here. Just thread your needle. With both strings. Alright, so you have a little tail on there. And you match up the sides. So all you're going to do is thread the string. So you're going to go here and around here. Go here and out here. It's just gonna, you can't even hardly see it, you know. Hi. 
吃。<笑>